Workout monitoring is a very cool use case for computer vision system, especially with the YOLO 11 models, because we have post estimation that can be used for a ton of different things for monitoring your workouts. Could be that you're doing push-ups, sit-ups, or whatever. We get all the detections for the key points on the body. So we get the hand, we get the elbow, shoulder, hips, and so on. So we can also do squatting. We can take a look at the angles in between your, your joint, pretty much. This is a pretty cool one, so let's see how we can do it with Ultralytics. If you go inside the Ultralytics documentation to start with, we can go inside the Solutions tab where we have all different projects and applications in computer vision that you can use out of the box. And we have videos covering a lot of it as well. So for example, we have this ULV8 workout monitoring running in a local Python script. But this video here, we're going to cover it with YOLO 11, but also inside a Google Colab notebook, so you can use it directly. So for each of the solutions here, you can open it directly in Google Colab. We also have it on GitHub. Let's just open it in a new tab for in a second. But if we scroll down, we can basically see that what are the advantages of workouts monitoring, optimized performance, goal achievement, personalization, health awareness, and informed decisions. This is very cool. If you, for example, build out an app, could be a web app, you can spin out a pretty fast one in Streamlit as well, connect to your webcam, and then try to do this monitoring. This both include doing computer vision, a bit of systems, but also some math and calculations with the angles in your elbow, when you're, for example, when your uh, wrist joint and your shoulder joint, how are they, the distance between them, or you can also take the all the joints and calculate the angle down in the elbow. This combines a lot of different things. It's a very cool project to get into and also very useful. It's a pretty cool one. So here you can grab the Python code. You can also use the solution with the command line tool directly out of the box. This is the key point map. So we get ears, we get eyes, we get nose. We also get shoulder, elbow, and wrist. We have some hip points. We have the knee point, and then we also have the ankles. You have this out of the box, five different variations. We have the nano, small, medium, large, egg block model, and all that as well. AI gym, this is the arguments that we can put in. So up angle, down angle, we have the key point model. So you don't even need to calculate the angles, but it's really good practice and just very nice to do some math on your own, but you can also use it out of the box. We need to use tracking. So that's also in here. We use the butt sort as default. You can also use the bite tracker. Play around with that but it's basically just tracking key points over time in the image enough talking let's just jump into our autodix notebooks repository as well here you can find all the notebooks you can just spin up you can scroll through them but this is just what we're going to open inside the google colab notebook but also all the other notebooks that's inside the solution tab you can find it here autodix slash notebooks let's now jump into the fun part inside our google colab notebook first of all i'm just going to connect to a NVIDIA T4, so we have TPU resource available that's free in here on Google Colab. To some extent, you can read more about here. It's pretty much just what's covered inside the documentation. I can see we're connected now. We need to pip install Autolytics, that everything we will take care of, all the other installations, and the rest is already installed, pre installed inside a Google Colab notebook. So let's run this here. We're also basically just going to grab these from Autolytics. We're going to install FMPEC which is basically just for video writing probably. So this is basically just for handling, decoding, encoding of images, changing formats, and all that. We do the autolytics checks. After that is done, it'll take 20, 30 seconds. We have everything up and running. Then we have a few examples that we're going to run through. We have demo videos for different exercises on the autolytics assets, assets as well. So this is just inside our assets folder in the default repository. Exercise list, leg extension, leg press, squats, push up. Make sure when you go to the gym, you're doing all of them. Don't skip leg day. And now you have some fun when you go to the gym, like record a video of yourself, throw it through it, pull it up with your phone. Then you can do leg extension, leg press, squats. So this is all the heavy, heavy guys in on the leg day. But also if you're just doing it at home, you can do push ups. Should be good here in just a second. Let's run this here after. It's basically just going to download our videos that we need for from, from our exercises. <coughs> we have our key point maps again. <coughs> key points is a list. We have the line width, show, up angle, model. So this is the arguments that we saw inside the documentation as well with a short description. Let's see if we're downloading. Still installing here up at the top. After it's done downloading here, it will be available over to the left 
in our folder. Push account, we grab our video, so it's gonna be stored in the content, which is a cert that we're able to open it up. And then we just copy pasted the code from inside the GitHub or inside the Delta Data documentation. If you go in again, it's pretty much just this one here. And then we can specify which of the use cases we are running with based on the key points. So that's what we're doing here. We set up a video writer, so we can write out to our video file with the results. We set up our AI gym. We want to display the frame. This is the key points that we want to take a look at. And if you just go up again, this is the key points. So we have five, 11, and 13. So we have five, 11, and 13. So this is basically just our joints here on one side. You can also take a look at the other side as well, depending on the camera angle and all that. You could even go in and extend it to both sides. But right now you can see, we can only see the left arm. We cannot see the right arm. So that's why we need to take into account the key points. If you have a front facing camera, you can use pretty much both arms due to calculations. So we should have our videos now here. There we go, we have all of them. Now we can go up and run our push up counter. Grab the file again, we just set up our AI gym. You run the YOLO 11 nano post model. If you want to get better accuracy, you can just run with a small or medium. You can just upgrade it here, so small, medium, depending on the accuracy that you want. Line, line width, we process the video, we open up our video capture with OpenCV, we read in a frame, we throw our frame into our gym and we write the result into a video file. That's all we need, it's pretty much just setting up our solutions. It's just a few lines of code with Autolytics. So let's run it here. It's going to download the model automatically, set up all the dependencies that we need, and then it will run the solution. So let's see, right now we throw our image into our gym, we write it, throw our image into our gym, and we're gonna write it after. We can see it by this one here. So after it has processed everything, we can view it live. If you grab the other video example or run it on your own computer, you will be able to basically do in write as well. So instead of like writing the plot, we can also go in and do in show. So now we can see it's running here. Let's just wait until it has basically just finished up and we can take a look at the video. It's gonna save it into this directory here. So we can probably call it something else here. It's probably just be dashes. Let's just rerun the program. So it's just dot avi at the end. Let's rerun it, let's take a look at the other example and then we can go back and watch all the videos through. This is the exact same thing that we're doing here pretty much. This is just a squat demo. There we go. Now we have solutions AI gym. We take a look at these key points here and that's pretty much it. We have five, 11 and 13. So we have 5, 11, and 13. It's gonna be the exact same one that we're looking at. So while the other one is processing, let's just go in and run this squat demo as well. There we go, we can see the result after. This is just an image, but we're going to see a video. Then we have the leg press. We look at 11, 13, and 15 as well. So 11, 13, and 15, 11, 13, and 15. So this is basically the knee angle that we're looking at or knee joint, so we want to calculate the angle, how much is that bending, and then we count our squats based on that. Or the leg press, so right now we use the X model. You can specify the up angle, down angle, so you need to tune these based on if you have the video from the side, from the front, how far away, also how far or like how deep do you want to go in your squats and so on. Make sure that you're going all the way down in your squats, so make sure that you tune these angles to the correct ones. Here we can basically just see the angles, so 95. This looks okay, could probably go a bit deeper. So again, you can specify it based on that. So this is 90 degrees, ding, ding. If you want to have it smaller, let's say where we go even lower, you need to lower the angle. So we maybe only have this angle here, that could be 70 degrees. So there will be this angle here that we are calculating. If you want to have it even further up, just count up and downs pretty much, you can have the angle higher, but it depends on the use case and the example that you have, but also the camera angle. So this one here, 93 degrees for the leg extension. Let's just run all of them as well. So we're gonna run with the leg press and let's take the monitor leg extension at the end. 
So let's now just let it run here, let it process, and then we can take a look at the results. So now all of them are processed, you can go in and download the videos on the left. So we both have the output videos and we also have the input videos. It also downloaded all the models that we have used. So let's now go in and take a look at the push up demo that we saw the first to start with. We can see the angle, so this is the angle that we can go in and specify. This guy here is going all the way down and even making a bit more <laughs> hardcore here. So this is the angle, so this is the squat position. Again, we have the angle, we have the hip, we have the knee and, this, and the shoulder. So it needs to go down in a certain angle. Here we can see that we definitely need a better model. So I'm not sure which one this is running on, but let's go ahead and take a look at the leg press. But we definitely need a better post estimation model for this one. This one here looks pretty good. So steps, one, two, and let's see if we get a third one. There we go, third one. So this is how we can do workouts monitoring with Autolytics solutions directly out of the box. You can use the Google Colab notebook as well. Just run it through, come up with your own videos, test it out the next time you go to the gym, record a video as yourself, set up this project here, and you have it up and running in just a few minutes. Hope you learned on this video here. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.